Are you expense reports? Empower responsible employee spending with limits tied to budget and see every transaction every transaction in real time divvy is spending expense management and more all rolled into one modern process that gives you total financial control of your money and your business all for free see how you can spend smarter at get divvy.com Quinn Snyder, Coach Show is brought to you by Fanatics for Authentic Utah Jazz Player Gear. Visit fanaticsauthentic.com slash Utah Jazz Play Game Used. That's fanaticsauthentic.com slash Utah Jazz Game Used. Here's Quinn Snyder from his media session today. Jared's good to go. I'm just kind of curious, you know, you said he's going to need to be patient just because of the quality of guards that you've got, but that given how he has played in those first two games, do you try to find minutes for him here or there to kind of show up? I mean, I, I think when I when I say that, you know, maybe that's not the right word. Um, but if I played Donovan 29 minutes, you'd probably want to say, why is he playing Donovan 29 minutes? And if I played Mike, you know, I think JC to be JC, you know, his threshold, you know, is usually no less than 24 um, is the way I've looked at that, you know, to, to truly have the impact. And so there's just some guys that, um, but that doesn't mean that's going to happen all the time. So patient in the sense that there'll be opportunities and to be ready when they come. And, you know, I, I think you're all, you know, our rotations last year, like I said, were so consistent and there was a reason for that, you know, is we, we played well that way. Um, but if you look at, you know, previous years, that hasn't been the case. You know, we've made a lot of changes at various times and I'm not suggesting that that, you know, that's going to happen. And, you know, Mike's a point guard, um, you know, and Jared knows that, but Jared can keep getting better and and play at the same time um so it, it's you know that that having both trent and jared at that position is is is, is different than um we had at the beginning of last year i mean trent played pretty good the other night before he banged his head and jared's i think very jared's unique for you know a player you know i think it's because he's played at a high level competitively and i, I think he's just got and and a unique level of poise and feel for the game. So, um, yeah, you, you always look for ways to try to have guys improve. I think that's the main thing. Um, and you try to win. So you can get both of those. That's the best of both worlds. How do you view uh, Jared's skill set? Like, you, you lump him in with, with Trent and, and kind of Mike. Do you view him as like kind of a... I think they're all different. Um, I, I think, you know, he, he obviously played point in college and then played, you know, off the ball. You know, when I've watched him in college, I thought it was more of a backcourt, you know, and I think that's what we have. You know, people refer to Mike consistently as the point guard. It could be just because he's, you know, that, that usually becomes a defensive question as much as anything or size oriented. You know, Magic Johnson was the point guard and Byron Scott was the off guard because it was so obvious who was handling the ball and getting him in the offense. And in Jared's case, I think he's capable of doing both those things, um, playing off the ball because, you know, he's, he can shoot it and shoot it with range. And then he's also able to, to create. So um, all three of those guys are different. Obviously Mike's at a different point in his career, but um, when you look at Trent and Jared, they're, they're different players. Um, I don't think there's, you know, it's kind of what I'm saying about, letting the team evolve that, you know, you don't look at those two guys and think that they couldn't play together either. You know, they're, they're different, but um, I think that's the, you know, that's a, that's an advantage for us to have versatility at that guard position. I mean, historically Donovan's been our backup point guard. So we haven't gotten to that um, unless we've had injury, you know, and then last year when we had that Joe's our primary point guard and, and that's when Trent started to play. So, um, as I said, I think they're all different and I think those guys are capable of playing together, um, you know, and situationally. 
Earning five stars on Google is tough. Earning it as a home improvement company is tougher. So here's the secret at Peach Windows. First, they answer your calls with a real person. Next, they offer premier windows and doors. Next, no high pressure. Next, no subcontractors. And there's more. So start at peachbuildingproducts.com and begin the five-star process. Peachbuildingproducts.com, Peach Windows, locally owned and operated, passionate Utah jazz fans. The world is up and at them. It's time to get moving again. So get up, stretch the legs, grab the kids, and move. Your family has places to go, and Larry H. Miller dealerships have vehicles to get you there. Visit any of our conveniently located dealers for tremendous savings on auto services. Get that oil changed, tires rotated, and systems checked. Because you're getting ready to move, America. And we're with you. Larry H. Miller dealerships. Online at lhmauto.com. Driven by you. Now is the best time of year to have interior painting done. Call the Utah Jazz official partner, Serta Pro Painters, today. They will deliver that same level of service and professionalism to you. Serta Pro Painters are not only the biggest, they're also the best. They use only the finest products and have a system to provide the best painting experience.